Facing. They should come out with a new pod racing one. Nah, it won't happen. It won't. It, 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 it would have to have microtransactions. It, it would have to have Mickey Mouse and shit in it. So. Fuck it. What they should have done. Happen. What they should have done is not cancel 1313 or whatever it was called. Oh, yes, dude. I was literally going to say the same fucking thing. Star Wars 1313. That really uh, doesn't make sense. That does not make sense at all because Disney hit. Like, have you seen The Lion King? That movie's pretty damn dark. Okay. Sword of the Stone. It, exactly. So don't tell me 1313 was too dark for Disney. My. You, like, Dude, oh, do you please. know Walt Disney had fucking like Jewish like oh. Nazi porn up in his fucking like closet? Exactly. He probably had a snuff film commissioned or something. Exactly. No. That's what I'm saying. Get out of here with that bullshit. Except most Hollywood shit nowadays sucks. Yeah. I honestly don't think there's been really anything interesting out of Hollywood for a couple of years now. At least I haven't seen it. Well, no, all you ha if you want to know the plot, just watch the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, there's a, there's a, like, it, I prefer watching older movies than the new ones. I, I will say the new, uh, what is it, Avengers or some shit, is getting it right, because their trailer is only going to show sheet scenes from the first 20 minutes of the movie. Oh, Wait, what is it? The new Avengers movie. Oh. Um, the, whatever I, it is. I, I don't yeah. follow it, but yeah. I don't follow I, it, I, I just know that this new one's I, gonna be... I tried Avengers. watching the first Avengers and I fell asleep through it. I'm not much of a Marvel... I'm not much of a Marvel guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're like... decent movies and shit, but I don't know. Really, I think the only decent superhero movies you can find that are movies are the animated ones, and I hate to say that, like the Batman animated ones. Mm, dude, so good. Under the Red Hood. Oh shit. Under the. I still need to watch that movie. That was so good. Oh, I need to see so Under the Red Hood. Do I still have it? Huh? So is Son of Batman. Yeah, I need to see the Son of like. Okay, that let me put it to you this way. Where's my movie folder? Because I got a bunch of movies I legally download. I have Son of Batman, and then I think I have Under the Red Hood. Okay. Like the preface no. there. Yeah. Legally downloaded. Yeah. I have Son of Batman, and then there's like two others in that trilogy. I think it's like uh, Bad Blood and something else. Batman vs. Robin. Hmm. I don't think I've seen those two. The last trick. You mean the killing joke? Yeah, I was gonna say the killing joke. Yeah. Yeah, that one's that one's a really, really, really popular like Joker storyline. Yeah, that one. That's that one. That one's pretty messed up. One is fucked. And then they made it like a, they made like a two part to the uh, Dark Knight Returns comic series. Okay. Which that one's all. That one is always good. No, not well. No, not the Chris. I don't give a you're fuck not what talking. Anybody says, I liked Jared Leto's Joker. That's a very unpopular opinion. I know it is. 
trust me, wow. I fucking know what it is. Dog. We all know the best I... Joker is either Jack Nicholson, Mark Hamill, or Heath Ledger. Um, you can suck a dick with that whole, like, <laughs> bullshit up on, like, let's pull Jack Nicholson into this classic, like... <laughs> like oh, I, mean, I, could, I, I mean, I could bring in a Arnold Schwarzenegger really? as uh, Mr. Freeze. <laughs> well, I mean, dude, there's just no comparison, absolutely. Yeah, let's kick some ice. Fucking, fucking Dr. <laughs> Freeze ever. Mr. Freeze. You know, it's actually kind of sad when the best Mr. Freeze, like, in terms of, like, darkness, is the Batman Arkham series of Mr. Freeze. Dude, no? Was so good. Hmm? Mm. Uh, no, I haven't seen God, the Gotham series. Interesting turn, like, some interesting turns. So I've heard. Mm. Hey, bro. Alright, I'll be on tomorrow. We should do some uh, combat stuff tomorrow. Let's go do like some fucking wings, like pirate wings. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's do it. Later, bro. Have a good night. Yep. You know what was really good at the beginning was Arrow. Arrow was really, really, really good. I mean, I you know, I know this isn't D. You know, I, I know this isn't DC Comics, but I wish Netflix did not scrap Luke Cage. Mm. Yeah, I really watched Luke that. Cage, but I wanted to watch Punisher because I really liked uh, the dude who was playing him. That he was doing a good Punisher. Oh, you know what they're bringing back? You know what's coming back? Anybody want to take a guess? What fucking animated um, show is gonna be making a comeback for its Ghost third in the show? season? Ghost nope, in the Shell? It's gonna be its third. Nope. Damn it! Oh, Ghost in the Shell is coming back on Netflix. So. I mean, uh, it is. It is reminiscent of what we've been talking about. So those are the three hints. Comic well, books. Comic so. book going on its third season and it's coming back, and it's animated. Not Luke Cage. Yeah. <laughs> I miss Luke Cage. I swear to God, I'm gonna. Wait, wait, no, it's I mean... animated. Wait, animated. It's animated. Oh, uh, it's uh, animated. Is it a animated comedy? Um, no. 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 Uh, shit, I don't know. Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody ever heard of Young Justice? Oh my god, you all need to go watch Young Justice. I mean, I've heard the name. Do you like uh, Batman? Do you like the DC Universe, JF? Then watch fucking Young Justice. I don't give a fuck what you think you think you think you know about it because of the name. But I'm telling you right fucking now, it is one of the best fucking, like, oh. Like comic book fucking shows, things, whatever. Like it is by far perfectly dark and like really fucking good. Like, like it makes you want to cry, bro. Like it is so good. It's really fucking good. It's much darker. It's way darker because it takes place around basically the 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 sidekicks of a lot of the bigger superheroes and kind of how they're like outcast and they're not allowed into the Justice League so they say fuck them and they're like we're gonna go make up our own thing called Young Justice and so they do their own fucking thing but it like gets real fucking dark but they're bringing it back for a third season and it's really cool because the first season is like when they're younger and then the second season jumps to like a couple years later and so hopefully this one The answer is this one. I've watched Gotham. First two seasons. I really like their penguin. Mm -hmm. I really I need want to, to make a joke, but I don't want to. Titans. New Teen Titans. 
I heard about the new Teen Titans and seeing the trailer, it looked really terrible. Well, from me, I don't know, I gotta give it an honest, I gotta give it an honest go because the, like, the original Teen Titans, not this bullshit Teen Titans go, which is actually kind of funny because they're both all really well written, but like, it's just appealing to, you know. It's, it's not, it's appeal. not the original Teen Titans cartoon though, that's the problem. It's not, no, 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 but like, this Teen Titans is a much darker, so I listen to a lot of podcasts while I'm at work, when I weld and shit, and... One of the one of my favorite podcasts is a podcast called Astonishing Legends, and they have a a, a guy on there quite a bit. He's kind of become a friend of the show, and his name is Rich Haddam. And that this is the there that's the guy who wrote the screenplay for the Mothman prophecies. If you saw that, yeah, he wrote the screenplay for that, and he also kind of like helps with the show and ended up you know writing some of the episodes and this and that, but like he was kind of on there and they were talking about the show and like the, one of the hosts is kind of a fan of it and watching it and apparently it's just a much darker <laughs> fucking Strix like, hit the much station much darker version oh, Strix you idiot <laughs> down goes the vet oh my god hey Strix <laughs> <laughs> why did the station blow me up because you hit it. We got well, really, really close to it there at the end. That's why I freaking pulled off and started to pull away from it. And then I noticed you had no shields left. <laughs>